What's up, everybody? Welcome to another reading with the Crown Priestess. Give me one second, y'all. I'm about to um close these curtains real quick because the lighting be like overdone. Yeah, that's a little bit of that. I don't want the light to be too oversaturated and then it just gets weird. My light is sucks, y'all. But whatever, I don't care. But anyway, this is going to be an all signs reading. Aries through Pisces. I wanted to do something just a little bit different. So we are going to do whose mind are you on? Okay, like... Um, Whose thoughts are you invading? We're going to try to get a little description of um, the person who's thinking about you and why they're thinking about you. Like, what are the intentions behind these provoking thoughts? <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, let's see who's thinking about you. Okay. Without further ado. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I am available. Um, the description box will let you know how you can get that done. I'm going to open emergency readings at some point, but I'm still trying to think of how to price that <laughs> because I, I don't want to overdo it, but I don't want to undersell it either because emergency readings are just that. They're done like same day, kind of in the moment. Um, and so that can be very demanding. And so I don't want to cheat myself, but I always had this thing of like not cheating other people as well. So I have to meditate a little harder on what that's going to look like for people. Um, because I know that people get too excited and they start beasting. And at the end of the day, I'm still a human being. Um, but emergency readings ideally will be done in less than 24 hours. So we'll see what happens. Because um, some readers, I feel like, are they overdo it with the pricing. Like, even for regular readings, I've seen readers charge people like $100 for fucking like a five minute reading is insane and or like you know they charge you a hundred dollars and the reading is like literally just them describing a bunch of tarot cards to you but hey get it how you get it <laughs> but anyway we're gonna start with aries let's see um oh well the nine of swords just fell out while i was shuffling so whoever is thinking about you aries you got them stressed the fuck out all right somebody's overthinking somebody really is losing sleep okay about you aries so let's get that started who is this person i'm thinking about aries sun moon rising venus will work for this okay cross watch at your own discretion Oh yeah, Aries. First of all, this person is like hiding from you or person like they're on purpose trying to hold back from you. Um, they're acting like this person could have recently like moved away from you or moved is like traveling. This person is traveling or they recently moved away from you. Um this person is so fake aries like they this is somebody who is pretending that they don't give a shit about you but they really like you are so warming this person's mind like they like they're you're all they fucking think about they try really hard to distract themselves with other options with like work with uh, somebody's like um like at the gym a lot they're chronically like doing other things but it's like even while they're doing these other things that are supposed to be keeping you off their mind it's like you're just all they fucking think about damn aries this motherfucker is obsessed boots 
They miss that pussy. They miss that dick. This is what they think about. <laughs> you put it on somebody, Aries, quite literally. Um, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. Could be another fire sign, Sag or Leo. Could be another Aries. But nonetheless, this is somebody who... They definitely miss that box. Oh, my God. Or they miss that, that you know, that magic stick. It's definitely given, like, very... Um, sexy attractive this person can also be very attractive okay this is somebody who's rather good looking i'm hearing best dressed as well something about this person is very well put together very authentic too a lot of times best dress gives cardinal energy to me like um the cardinal sign just because of the leadership the like the the innovation, the creativity is like this person, something about the way they look is a very like eye catching. You like how they dress. The details are real. Like somebody can accessorize really well too. like this is somebody who just knows how to put it the fuck on. They look really good. Big cardinal energy. So Aries, Libra, Capricorn and Cancer. OK. Not to say that other signs don't know how to get dressed, but cardinal signs often are very best dressed energy you know like they put their shit on for real um this person could be again there, there's something they're definitely keeping their options open they're definitely entertained with other things right now but it's not taken away from what they think or how they think of you so let's see <laughs> what is this person's intentions um, why? Why are you on their mind this way? Why are they thinking about you so hard? Mm. Something about you, Aries, um, woke it up. Like you woke something up in this person. You aged their love, like uh, uh, aging love. Like it's um, like you've made them more mature. Like something about right, like they were guarded and vulnerable, or maybe they just wanted to have fun or whatever, because. Um, well, you're attractive as hell, right? That's your energy, attraction, Mars, hot. Like I said, the sex between you and this person is insane. I'm talking to somebody, you fucked this person before. I ain't talking to somebody who, I mean, if it is, they, this is, they dying to put it on. They dying to feel what your body, like they're dying to feel you. But I feel like for a lot of you, you've definitely been intimate with this person and it was like, Woo, it's one of those, right? Like, it's, it's, it was hot. The chemistry is definitely on. But um, more intellectually, I feel like this person thinks about you a lot because you've taught them a lot. You've changed something about how they look at relationships, how they look at... This person is like, they want to be more open. They want to, like... You've opened them up. This is what I'm saying. Like, you've you've aged them. But not like, it, um, yeah, in a stressful way too, but also it's like you you make this person, you you change something about their perspective. You know, you've really, you like, you know, if this, this person went away from you, 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 you feel like the one that got away to them. Like, like they didn't understand what they had until they lost it. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's deeper than just that realizing what you lost until you. No, it's like, you were really, you were like a hidden gem to this person, Aries. Um, and it took them a while to see that. You know, they had to like, it's like they're out there dating and they out mingling and they fucking with other bitches or fucking with other niggas or whatever. But it's like, they don't have it. It was something that you had, Aries. Yeah, that changed this person. And now they, they yeah, all they think about because they, they lost you or they don't have access to you in the way that they used to. Um, what should you do about this? Ow. Ow. Be careful. I just got burned. Be careful. What should you do about this? That's a sign. Be careful. Something about hot, I'm telling you. Like, it's, it's too hot. But what should you do about this, Aries? Yeah. Um, I would, uh, yeah, I would just, like, keep your distance at this time. Because this person is, like, they're giving off a dangerous energy. Not dangerous like they'll hurt you, but like dangerous like reckless. There's something really reckless about this person. You know how I feel, Aries? This person's like crashing out. That's the warning. Like, this is a crash out king, crash out queen. Like, they're gonna, if you give them 
a little bit they're gonna do the most or I, I don't know there's something about this energy that's just like you might want to fuck this person but it's not in your best interest because they're they're already like they losing their shit and you know when people get like that when people get Oh my God, I just saw Inside Out 2, y'all. And if y'all didn't see that movie, it's crazy because anxiety, the stress card came out like mad times. It kept falling out. It kept coming out. And this person is, this is where they at. If you see that movie Inside Out 2, the anxiety bitch went nuts. She went nuts. And like, she got so anxious and so crazy. And she was like, she was always just making up shit in the moment. Like, you know, like, because she wanted to be liked, wanted to be pleased. That's what this person is given. And there was a part where she got so fucking crazy that the bitch just, like, she started, like, glitching. Like, and it was just a fucking tornado around her. Like, it was just pure chaos. So, Spirit is encouraging you to just, like, watch this. I would stay away from this person. <laughs> I don't know that that's going to change the fact that they crashing out. But I know that, like, engaging is not going to really make it better. So, let's move on to Taurus. Bang, damn, bang, damn, crushing out boots. All right, Taurus, <laughs> what is this person thinking about you, Taurus? What, who, whose mind are you on? Yeah, whose mind are you on? Sorry, thank you, Spirit. That's the first question. Whose mind is Taurus on? Whose thoughts are you invading, Taurus? Whose thoughts are you invading? Let's hear about this person. Whose thoughts are you invading, Taurus? Ooh, right away it could be a cancer, okay? Uh, let's see. Somebody who is... Somebody who is rather driven. I think this person, too, has, like, a... Definitely somebody you know already with the Six of Cups, Three of Cups. Somebody you could have grew up with, been friends with, or you just have a history with this person to some degree. Some of you have kids with this individual, but you're in separation. Oh, yeah. This is somebody that, yeah, you see? Six of cups, ten of cups, but then four of cups, three of cups. All cups are definitely could be a water sign, all right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because everything is cups. You definitely got this motherfucker in their bag. Whoever this is, they do have a lot of emotion for you. This is all emotion. This is all, like, heartfelt energy. Um, I do feel like it's somebody, this person might drive a black or a white vehicle. Um... Somebody can have a motorcycle too, I'm hearing. Somebody or rides like motorcycles or dirt bikes or something like that. So this is somebody who, um, you definitely have fond memories with this person too, Taurus. I'm not going to lie. Like you have, you at times think of, you know, nostalgic things with you. This person definitely has really beautiful memories about you. You were home. You felt like home to this person, Taurus. You felt like home. You feel like home to this person. Um, some of you might be in a relationship with this person, but there's something about them feeling neglected or feeling like they're not getting through. I feel like what happens is this person feels deeply for you, but they don't know how to show it. Or they show it in like really contradictive ways. You know, like it's something about them that's like, you know, like when little kids, you know, when you're a kid and they like there's somebody bullying you in your class, like a girl, the little girl bullying the boy or the little boy bullying the girl. And like you go home, you tell your parents and they're like, oh, it's probably because they like you. It's probably because they have a crush on you. There's some essence like that, like somebody doesn't really treat you well. But if if they if they would show you what's in their heart for you, it would look like a fucking romance novel you know like it like this person feels really deeply about you but i don't know that they show it very well i think this person lives in their thoughts a lot yeah you see that seven of wands seven of pentacles i can't make this shit up it's like they want all this like this person looks at you and they really feel like damn i have everything i could have everything with taurus i love them so much they're so perfect for this i remember when i remember when i remember when I remember when I first saw you, I'm here and now. Wow. This person has a lot of love for you, Taurus, but it seems like they purposely hide this. Or like, I don't know what the fuck. What is this person's intentions? Why is this person, like, why do they think about you so much, Taurus? Taurus. 
Yeah, your gift. I mean, seriously, this person literally feels... Some of you have kids with this person. That was the gift. You brought their children into this world. Or that you gave them children if you're a man. Um, you really are just like everything that this person wants. But yeah, you see, they have a hard time like expressing this. This person is very head over heart. And they struggle with that. So what is... I do feel like yeah, they lie. Why do they lie? Like they, it's like they front on how they feel about you, and that's what pushes you away. What should you do about this? Because it's very clear that whatever this person's actions are, they do not reflect their feelings. But that's fucking stupid. <laughs> fucking hate shit like that. Anyway, uh, what should you do about this, or what should you know about this? What is it? Because this person literally just hides their fucking feelings all day. It is so weird. What should you do about this? Okay. Some of you, if you're in the occult practice, this is an easy fix with spell work. Take that how it resonates, okay? But it's an easy fix because it's not that you would be forcing someone to stay with you it's that you would be opening them up oh some of you need to do that some of you need to do uh i forget what they're called but uh th there's a word for it in spanish but but anyway it's basically like um you forcing someone to speak you know like to spill the beans it's something there's a spell for that there's a remedy for that you can conjure that up it's like force this person to speak their truth i'm, I'm getting specifically if you're an occult practice practitioner you can get this done quite easily otherwise you're gonna have to really um use your wit you know like hold to your wit about how to make this person show you because i do feel like you really want this person just as much as they want you you really love this person the way that they love you but you need to hear it you know, sometimes you just got to hear it. And I feel like if you don't hear it, you're going to end up walking, you know, you're going to end up walking. But you know that this is something that's meant to be. They know that this is something that's meant to be. You know, you have to do the romance on the bottom. So it's like, but there's something about you're going to have to initiate. You have to say something or do something that forces this person to respond in kind because they are just not opening up about this. Okay. Interesting. That was that was interesting. Okay. Gemini. Gemini, whose mind are you on? Whose mind are you on? Let's talk about the person. Just thinking about Gemini. Guys, this doesn't always have to be love. So I'll say that as well. For me to say that for you, Gemini, this might be like a friend or a family member. Um, but it can be anything. Just take it how it resonates. The person thinking about Gemini. Show me. Tell me the person who's thinking about Gemini. Tell me the person who's thinking about Gemini, Grace Spirit. Clear channels. I just heard hanging by a thread. Yeah, hanging by a thread and the nine of wands came out with the four of pentacles and the seven of swords. I had to show y'all that because it was when I said hanging by a thread. This is somebody who is pretty much at their wit's end, I want to say. Somebody, whoever, whoever's thinking about your Gemini, they are like really done okay they can be ready to walk away and this is somebody who recently walked away i think you had a falling out to some degree with this person there could have been a fight there could have been information withheld or like somebody was like hiding something lying about something um that came that did come to light and there was like a big fight about or the fight was that they know that you're hiding something something like that like even if the truth was not exposed here, because now I'm getting that, that you couldn't really, there's no proof. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, there's no proof. There's no like solid confirmation, but it's very clear, very evident that something was being hidden. Something was being, there was like a hidden motive, a hidden agenda, and there was a big blowout about this. There was a big fight about this, I'm hearing. Yeah, the truth will come out. All right, if it hasn't already, the truth is going to come out. This person wants the truth. That's what it is. Um, they really want the truth. They want to be honest, okay? Take it how it resonates. Put the roles where you need to put them. Person thinking about Gemini. Definitely watching you. Definitely thinking about how they want to approach you in the right way, okay? They want to approach you in the right way because they know you're not dumb. 
right? This is something like, um, well, I know you're not dumb. So it's like, I can't beat you in the head. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the fight was, I know you're hiding something, but you can't, you're not telling me what it is or you can't prove what this is, but I know you hiding something. Like I know it. And so y'all beefed over that and somebody deflected heavy, like somebody deflected big time, somebody, you know, omitted truths, however you're going to say it, or just straight up lied about the shit. And it puts y'all in a bad space. Um, and this person is currently trying to assess how they can come toward you with this communication. I do feel like they have they have the intention to be honest, like they want to be honest, but it almost feels like something is keeping them from doing so. They definitely have feelings for you. They love you. So what, what's wrong? What, what's this person's intentions? Why are they thinking so hard about this? Because you were avoiding them. Because you separated yourself. Could be about a third party. All right. Rejection. You see what I'm saying? Like you got to see these cards. Avoidance. Distance. Third party external party and rejection this is what i'm saying um you could have definitely this they want to come towards you but they know that you don't it's like you don't want to speak to them you don't want to speak to them you told them don't stay away from me i never want to talk to you again or i don't want to talk about this shit or you owe me an apology <laughs> that's what i'm hearing you owe me an apology i don't remember if that was venus or serena williams you owe me an apology are you going to apologize? Then don't talk to me. It's something like that. Like there's a meme. I don't know. I don't remember which William sister it was. But it's a video. It's a clip of her. Like you owe me an apology. And she's just like, are you going to apologize? Then don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Like bitch, you can't say nothing to me. If you don't take accountability and, and apologize for what you did. That's what this is giving. All right. And it's like this person is very afraid. They don't know how to approach you. They don't want to be rejected. They are guilty. There's something they realize that they fucked up. Okay. They realize that they fucked up and they do want to start it over, but they don't know how to do this. So what is your advice? <laughs> what is your advice, Gemini? Ooh, that fell out fast. If you care about this person, then work it out. If you don't, move forward. Quite simply. You know the truth, you know what to do, yeah. But the indecision card over caring connections and six chakra. Spirit is saying that, um, okay, that makes sense. You might never get to hear the truth from this person. You know, you may, or you may not hear what you want to hear. And I don't think that's really a surprise. But Spirit is saying that you know what you know. You know, you saw what you saw. Do you really need confirmation? You know, like, you know what the fuck happened. Um, and now at this point, it's just a matter of, do you want to be with this person or not? It's, it's, you know, I know that sucks, but that's kind of where it's at. It's like, you either want to be with this person and you just say, fuck it. It's in the past. Let's move forward. Or you just like, fuck you. I'm standing on my shit until you fucking admit everything you did. The decision is yours. All right. But spirit is saying with the six chakra, you definitely see the truth. You're not dumb. You don't need a thousand and one confirmations. You don't need no solid evidence. You know, your evidence is here, right? Your evidence is here. Your intuition has told you already what it is, okay? So your decision, Gemini, your decision. All right, let's go to Cancer. Happy birthday, Cancer. It is your season when I'm recording this. So let's see whose mind you're on. Who's the fox are cancer invading? Is cancer invading right now? I just heard, who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? That's from um, CeeLo Green. Somebody thinks you're crazy. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's like uh, mirroring, like, though. Because there's a part in the song where he says, I think you're crazy just like me right like but somebody's like who do you think you are like i don't know like somebody's getting a taste of their own medicine boy relax yeah somebody's like uh-uh 
there's a fly in here too that could be like somebody flies are jealous to me like that gives jealous energy keeping tom energy that shit that's why i don't like opening that terrace door sometimes in the summer because the bugs just creep up in anyway cancer let's talk about the person who's thinking about you what about this person okay this person could be younger than you um or act more immature than you what else oh this person is deceitful could be a fire sign um aries leo sag aries specifically with queen of wands but this is somebody who is lying about something hiding something or i don't know what is this oh i see this is also somebody who's pretending that they don't want to be with you but they really do thank you because i'm like what they lying about knight of cups ten of pentacles somebody who is definitely uh this person is definitely attractive i'll say that first also this person is attractive they're very romantic um and they want something stable but i feel like you see this Page of Pentacles is what they look like out loud, but Ten of Pentacles is what their actual intentions are. You understand? Like, it's like this person wants much more than they're leading on. Um, definitely good looking. Definitely finds you good looking. Definitely wants to offer you love, okay? And it's like they make a small gesture, but again, they want something really solid. Um, what else about this person? could be another cancer could be a leo jesus christ this person cancer they want to be with you they want so much victory they want children with you they want a family they want legacy with you they see life with you what else about this person oh my god what the fuck cancer look at these fucking cards chariot sun empress ten of pentacles what the fuck this person's in love with you don't want to hear it definitely in love with you definitely just like I mean, seriously, what the fuck? Ace of Cups on the bottom. What is this person's intention? I don't understand. Like, th this person, this is what they think about. Remember, this is you on their mind. This is what they see with you. This is what they're thinking about you. Like, they they, they definitely see you as end-all, be-all. Definitely see you as somebody who can have their children, you know, have a family, father their children, mother their children. Um... I mean, white picket fence, the, the whole shebang. Like, this person, death thinks you fine as fuck. They think about you sexually as well. They want to come towards you. They they literally, like, they... But it's like they are approaching this very slightly. Like, it's, it's, like they're, they, they're looking like the little thing, but they really, their mind is in the big thing, okay? this person it's their dream come true to be with you like they they pray about this i'm hearing some people yeah. child fulfillment stability wishes harmony this is what they this is their intentions cancer you better get your stuff this person wants to be with you epiphany and breakthrough i'm not i'm not lying <laughs> these cards are coming out look at this nurturing compassion this is how this person feels about you and chemistry and passion i give up transcendence and unity okay behind that is twin flame and remember so fade it these are the cards at the bottom unity transcendence twin flame remember fate all right and then the fall i'm not gonna go further than that so this can come this can become a, an apparent thing around autumn uh so you got a couple months if it's Anytime from now, you know, when September, October, November hit, when the leaves start falling, okay, when the leaves start falling, when harvest time, harvest makes me think of uh, Thanksgiving specifically, which is in the fall, so late fall, um, what, what should you, what should, I don't know, what you're supposed to do about this, to me, you're supposed to marry this person if I'm fucking telling the truth about it, because shit, what should you do about this, what you need to know, I don't have shit else to say, you can't say, your read is fab, your person thinks lovely things of you. The oh, fuck? What should you know? Storm warning. Thinking woman, this person is gonna shock the fuck out of you. They're gonna come. They're gonna come at a time where you're not expecting it. They're gonna come at a time when you're not expecting it. And um, I think spirit is just saying, you know, be ready. Be 
Be ready. Be ready, Cancer, a man holding a heart. Be ready. Be ready when this person comes. I don't know what you're going to do. The decision is obviously yours. Um, but it's coming. And I think that um, it might shock you who this is. Okay. Or it might shock you when they show up. Because I think that with Storm Warning also is describing that things may be really bad between the two of you right now. Or they, they might get really bad before they get really good. I feel like this person is going to do some jump out the window shit. Like... Maybe things ended really sour with you and this person. And so you think there's no way in hell it could ever get to this. And then surprise. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Moving on to Leo. Damn, cancer. Wow. Love that for you. Okay. Let's do Leo. All right. Whose mind is Leo on? Who's thinking about Leo? Who? Is thinking about Leo. We get a little drinky with y'all. Mm. Who's thinking about Leo? It's just a little wine, but it's a lot of wine. That's why I said that big ass cup. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, who's thinking about Leo? You definitely, I think this person is like out of sight, out of mind for you, Leo. Could be another Leo. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. I'm getting very strong. Um, This is somebody, Leo, who definitely had you fucked up. Like, had you all over the place, had you crashing out, had you like in your head a lot. There was a lot of confusion. This person caused a lot of mental conflict. This person made you question yourself. Um, you know, they dimmed a lot of your light, um, I want to say, and it, it like it's given sabotage. Like this person had a lot of sabotage. They self-sabotage. They could be somebody who drowns their self in work now, but they still think of you. They still love you. They still hold a place for you in their heart. I see that very clearly. It could be a water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but, um, heavy Scorpio. I just heard big, big Scorpio. I just heard, um, but anyway, could be Scorpio Moon. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. People don't care. Um, I wish that little fly, little stupid bitch, get out my fucking house. I'm going to swat you when I get up. I'm going to swat you when I get up. Hateful bitch. I told you, I know what flies are spiritually. She got to go. She got to get the fuck out of my house. She going to make me do something stupid. Moving forward. Um... That could be some some type of energy you into, Leo, as well. You know, I take everything. Everything is a sign. Everything is a sign. Um, but I do feel like this person, they just caused a lot of, you know, upheaval. Jeez. Like, you, you, I don't see the tower, but that's what it gives. Like, this person, it's like they were, they forced you to have to, like, come up with ideas like but not in a good way it's like you always had to find a creative way it's like it's like escape room that's how it feels <laughs> it feels like escape room it feels like this person put you in a fucking dungeon and then you had to think your way out of this you had to like saw your way out of this you saw the movie saw like how they always had to do these complicated tasks and things and sacrifice like a limb or something to fucking live it's like damn somebody put you through mad hell leo that's the person that's thinking about you so what else should you know about this all right it wasn't on me that time i'm just like now i'm just feeling stuff all right y'all can leave me alone you know the spirits be touching on me and shit person's intentions because if that's it i'm upset what's the person's intention what's the problem why are they thinking about this we'll see all right this person needs to heal they have a lot of healing to do and they feel like they can do that through you they feel like you're healing for them but you have to be very cautious of this energy leo because right they feel like you're you're healing for them you're paradise you you're the answer you're the key and i do see that this person has love for you but i think that their idea of love is distorted it's toxic it's unhealthy this person has never had the right examples of what love looks like 
um and so they don't know how to handle it you know like maybe you did try to give this person real love and they just didn't know how to receive it they didn't know they didn't you know they were just waiting for the other shoe to drop they this person is all over the place and they have a lot of healing to do so their intention is again to come back to you but they, it's because they feel like you can fix them the only thing is that this person is such a self-sabotager you know what i'm saying that i i don't know if you can actually um i don't know if you can fix this person leo you know that's what it is it's given fix oh it's given fix you by who's that cold play originally um yeah spirit you know free yourself from this energy i think that you want to be compact there goes the guilt and self-sabotage i told you i think that you want to free yourself from this energy but you also want to help them um but it's like there's no middle ground you know this person is not gonna allow you to like just be their friend if they get if you know like maybe you are mature enough for that to say like listen i don't want to be with you but i want to help you through this you know like we can be friends we can build that that way and i can teach you some cool shit along the way but this person is not mature enough for that they're just gonna fuck up the bag you know they're gonna try to force themselves on you in intimate and romantic ways and it's just going to end up poorly so all right leo moving forward that's yeah well, it's not gonna work out don't do it don't fucking do it all right virgo Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Whose mind are you on, Virgo? What is this person thinking about, Virgo? Who is this person thinking about, Virgo? Sorry. Who is this person? We're describing the person first. And then what? Okay. Who is this person that's thinking about, Virgo? Who is this person? Jesus Christ. All right, this is a person who definitely holds back emotion, holds back feelings, holds back conversation, like on purpose. Or like when you speak to them, they give you the minimal like, hey, you know, good morning. Just checking on you. It's very like mundane surface level conversation. If this person says anything, they don't get deep into their feelings. Oh, but they have them with the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This person definitely has deep feelings for you, but they are on the fence about something, okay? So they, this person isn't another, somebody else had that. They act like they don't fucking love you. They act like they don't give a shit, but really they do. They have deep emotion. They just don't share this openly. Yeah, they come off as cold, probably a little bit of a dick. like, And they kind of chuck it to like, oh, I'm just not like that. I'm, you know, I don't. I'm not an emotional person. I don't get into that. I'm not, oh, you're in your emotions. I don't get involved in that stuff. But really, they do have these emotions. They just act like a dick. They just act like a dick. Why is the two of pentacles here about this person? This is somebody who doesn't have it all together, you know? I feel like that's what it is. I feel like the reality of it is, thank you, before I even pulled a card. Exactly. Before I even pulled the card, three of swords. This person is... First of all, still holding on to a lot. Because I, I don't even feel like this is just heartbreak between you and this person. I feel like this person has never truly healed from anything. You know, they've never done the work to process how things have hurt them. Because they're, you know, that's why that energy, like they're kind of a dick. Because this person doesn't do the work to heal. They don't do the work to, they don't, this is a person too who like jumps into the next thing really quickly to avoid the thought process of the thing that hurt them or the previous disaster um this is somebody who they don't have their shit together they don't they're very unstable this is probably somebody who moves around a lot they don't have like a stable home they don't have a stable job they don't have stable anything and so that is a reflection of their love life it's a reflection of their soul how people are is always a reflection of who they are inside you know like, it doesn't matter what kind of mask you try to put on. The real character ends up kind of outshining at some point or another because it will reflect on what they're doing outside. And so that's what I'm saying with this person. They could talk very stern, very direct, very stoic. Um, you know, 
Again, not a person who's irrational or all over the place with their emotions, but really inside they are. And it's because their life is not together. This is whoever I'm talking about. I don't want to say that because that's crazy. Spirit is harsh. You know, I don't want to say it's a bomb ass nigga or a bomb ass bitch. But the mentality is because it's like they, this person has nothing stable in their life. They're not stable. Nothing in their life is complete. Nothing in their life is at 100%. They don't know how to do it. And it's because their emotions are all over the place. This person does love deeply. They feel deeply. But they fight to not show it on the outside. And it's because they're heartbroken. Okay, this is somebody who's very broken inside. This person has had a lot of hurt. And so they mask their feelings like heavy all right what are their intentions toward you virgo what are their intentions thank you that was fast you see what i'm saying they want they they really do want to tell you but they won't they won't looks like it's very up and down with this person yeah this is somebody who just like pretends to you know they just it's not they stick to their work you know they stick to practical things because they don't want to bleed all over you that's kind of what it is but i feel like in hiding all of this and trying not to it's like if i god forbid i got shot right let's say if i, I get shot and i'm like holding my wound really tight you know to not let the blood out but i have like a mile before i get to a hospital and there's nobody around to help me i have no phone i have nothing the blood is going to come out. You know, at some point down my trail, you're going to see the blood trickling, leaking. Because it, it that's what this person is giving. It's like they're trying to hide their wounds, but they're so deep and there's so many of them. It's a lot of baggage, emotional, emotional baggage that it's like you see it. No matter how hard they try to hide this, it's like the blood seeps through. It falls, it drips. You, you're going to see that this person is this way. Um, but I don't, I, I'll be honest, I don't see them taking any action or anything towards this. I think that spirit just wants you to know that this person does care about you, Virgo, but they have too much unhealed trauma, okay? It's like a lot. It's a lot. All right. Libra. <laughs> I keep grabbing the wrong cards. I'm not drunk, I promise. Libra, tell me about the person who's thinking about Libra. Tell me about the person who's thinking about Libra. Tell me about this person who's thinking about Libra. Tell me about this person who's thinking about Libra. This is somebody who you live with, Libra, or you lived with before. You used to live with this person. Some of you I'm hearing used to live with this person. But recently you guys separated or it doesn't have to be recent. It's somebody that you once lived with that you don't live with anymore. Okay. Um, period. Like you used to be together with this person. Now you're not. However, take the how it resonates. And um it's like they are so this person does love you, they care, they want to be there, but they also want their freedom. Yeah, this is like, I want my cake and eat it. They definitely want their freedom, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands. They're like, they're in search of something, you know, else. Something that they think is better, bigger, grander. This is one of those people who is like, always looking for the next best thing i'll be honest um do they care about you yes four wants two cups is here they do they definitely care about you but um it's like they they want to be free they, the fool could be aries libra could be aries i told you i felt free i'm like they want to be free they want their freedom and there goes the fool the fool is what i'm free i'm out i'm out i'm on a journey i'm, I'm gone i'm leaping off this shit doesn't matter you know the fool is that like it just it doesn't take into account all the time what it's leaving behind or it does but it's just like 
it's not important because I already know and I need the road not traveled now. You know, I need the next best thing. Aries energy is big here with that Queen of Wands and that Fool. I'm um, at the Four of Wands as well. A lot, of, a lot of Aries cards. But it's like this, the truth about something. That, and that, that is the truth. The truth is that this person does love you. Um, you know, they the emotion is there. They remember the times. But they are they they want to be free. They want to be free. They don't want ties. They don't want to feel bound. They don't want to feel bound. Yeah, look, three of ones. This bitch is out somewhere. It's like again, this person is always in search of the next best thing. Or, you know, it doesn't matter how good something they can have something. It's like they get bored. They get bored really quickly. They just like yeah, they get into their head and then they start to. I get to this is a person who like starts to pop shit off so that you have a reason to leave them. Or so that they have a reason to step out. Or so that they have a reason to, you know, just be on to the next anything. Not just a person, but a venture as well. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Let's see, what's this person? I don't even want to, like, I, because I guess I that is their intention is just to leave. But let's see, what else? They go deeper. Why is this person thinking of this? Why is this on this person's mind this way? They feel like it's destined for y'all to come back anyway. Like it, it, like oh, that's that's entitled. Yeah, because they do care, but it's like again, they want this life somewhere. Like I don't know, but they, something about them is very arrogant, though. Libra, I'll be honest. Death could be an Aries energy. I'm not even gonna lie, especially if it's a masculine. Masculine Aries are mad arrogant. Not gonna lie to you, kid. But um, the truth is. This person, no, no, I'm doing work. Go away. Look at you. Look at how you look because you're being reckless. Go away now. Thank you. Um, this person has this idea in their head that they can go explore the world, do whatever they want, and then come back to you. That's that's what it is. They feel like you're always going to be there. So what should you do? What should you do about it? Cancel the contract, I heard. Cancel the contract. Yeah, look. Person putting you in confusion and shit. Move on. Look at this. Disharmony triggers. Yeah, get away from this person. Because cancel the contract, like I said. Because this, whatever detour this person is trying to take. First of all, it is faded. It's divine. But I'm getting, I was drawn to the word detours. This person thinks that they can just go out, do their thing, and come back. And you'll be there sitting pretty. No, get the fuck out of here. No fucking way. No fucking way. And I know we all like to believe that, oh, let it go. And if it comes back, it's meant to be yours. But this person actually feels entitled to that. They feel like you're going to wait. You're going to always be there. You don't have a life. So I can go do my big one and come back and, you know, be fine. And it's like, but there, it's like, it's almost, that it's crazy to me because it's like this person is rooting on the fact that they're going to go out in the world and not find anything better than you, which is why they would end up coming back. But then it's like, what was the point of going to explore if you know there ain't shit out there for you? You know what I'm saying? It's like, why I'm going to go to the damn liquor store looking for Henny White when I live in New York City? I know they don't sell that here. You know, it's like some weird shit like that. Like, I, I don't know. It's, you know what I'm trying to say? It, it's stupid. They're stupid. Libra. Who are calling? Scorpio. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? Scorpio. Um, who is this person that's thinking about you? Who is thinking about Scorpio? Who's thinking about Scorpio and Spirit? Clear channels. Who's thinking about Scorpio? thinking about Scorpio who's thinking about Scorpio could be a fixed sign uh, which is another Scorpio Aquarius Taurus Leo uh, could be somebody who's always on the move someone, someone who's in and out inconsistent, fickle, however you want to describe it this person's always on the move, for sure. I feel like they this person can travel a lot. 
okay or they drive and they're one of those people who can't stay still because they drive like they i know people like that that they, they have a car and they like they are literally never fucking in one place like they're just every fucking thing even if they're driving just around the block they got to take the car this person can be a little bit of a showboat i'm getting like they like to show off they like they have fancy things and things like that um could be an air sign so i'm getting heavy aquarius for some reason <laughs> that would be a bitch who can't stay still right but could be anybody y'all you know how it goes it's just the energy that i'm reading this person could have long hair, male or female. Could be like locks or braids or something like that. This person has long hair, regardless. Could be fairer skinned, like fair skinned. Well, they're getting into details here. Like, usually they're just describing a person, but they're like describing the physicals of this person. This person is very attractive. Definitely very attractive. Long hair, fairer skin. Fairer skin. It doesn't mean that they're white, but, you know, like just fair. Like if, you know, if even, even if this is a black person, it's like they're white skinned or they're lighter on features or whatever. This person is definitely very attractive, very fun, very outgoing energy, but they look like they on the move all the time. All right. This person thinks about you in the physical sense, definitely passionately. You could have had sex with this person or you're dying to this. They're, they're dying to have sex with you. I don't see a lot of emotion out of this person, Scorpio, I'll be honest. That's kind of what I've been looking for, but it's not given that. So it could be like a newer thing or it was just a fling or something that was never taken too seriously. All right, what is this person's intentions? Why are they thinking about you? Why is this person thinking about Scorpio? Why or what are they thinking about Scorpio? They want to talk more. They feel like things were left unsaid. They didn't get to tell you something. I think this person wants to ask you out on a date, wants to hang out, wants to do something. They definitely like, yeah, they're using like the powers of manifestation, even if it's indirectly to like think about you, to draw you into them. And I feel like, I feel like Scorpio, you probably act kind of nonchalant with this person or there's something about again that in and out like yeah, i don't see each other very often it's very inconsistent the communication is inconsistent i feel like this person's intentions is to make it more prominent um more prevalent i mean like they want to talk more often they want to see you they want to hang out this this person does want to get to know you because they feel like you're hiding something or they they just want to get deeper you know they don't know you deeply enough i'm getting this is new for a lot of you new connection somebody you met recently yeah they do they want to know what's behind all of that because i feel like you're very guarded they feel like you're very guarded they feel like you don't show a lot you don't say enough you don't whatever then this person's like waiting for you to kind of open up more to them yeah this person like has flashy shit i'm getting like a really nice car like a nice foreign or something or well, they're just like a flashy person like they're a nice car nice watch they look good this person's good looking they got money they up to par but it's like something about their life is very on demand or in motion. And so they feel like they don't have enough time to get to know you or enough time to speak or express themselves. Or, you know, they really want to know what you give in. Really do. You could have met this person when it was like colder outside. Um, they do want, yeah. They do want, I think that you would benefit from getting to know this person. That's your advice, Scorpio. Allow this person to, you know, get to know you, have that conversation. It might take some courage. I feel like you don't trust this person. <laughs> Something about the way they move. But yeah, look, Venus offer at the bottom. Something about the way they move makes them very mysterious or you're mysterious. I think you both kind of have this energy of mystery to you. Um... But they want to know more and spirit is saying that it's safe to do so you know it's safe for you to get to know this person they do have good intentions um but the more that you guys get to know each other the more that you get to speak and know like kind of the do's and don'ts and the turn-offs and the turn-ons it will help this person maybe then move the way you need them to move around you you know it's some some advice like that all right moving forward that was nice and simple yeah i love when it's not toxic we we get that like one or two out of 12 fucking zodiacs ridiculous moving forward <laughs> what's the sag yeah 
Sagittarius. You see how calm that energy was? And then the other things I'm like, bah, 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 bah. Because it should be toxic. Moving forward. Sagittarius. Uh, tell me about the person on Sagittarius. Oh, no, excuse me. Tell me who's thinking about Sagittarius. Thank you. Who's thinking about Sagittarius? Who's thinking about the Sag? Who got Sag on their mind, up in their space? Invading their thoughts. Tell me about this person. Thinking about Sag. Tell me about this person. I'm wishing on a star. That's what I just heard. And I wish on the rainbow. What? Nah, this person is. They are. Yep. There's the Knight of Cups. This star, the Hermit. This person spends a lot of time hoping and praying. Now I'm getting from my best friend's way. Wishing and hoping and praying and dreaming. Planning. Or whatever the fucking song is, but like this person is very um how you say that? What is the word spirit? Give me the word. They're smitten with you, Sag. This person is smitten. They see you and they're like they have those heart eyes like over the emoji, you know, like on the iPhone. This person can be far away from you. Damn, this person got a lot of feelings for you. If this is not somebody that you are already connected with, Sag. This is a person who really, um, they have like a traditional love about them too. Like, I feel like this person is naturally like, they're like, especially if it's a masculine energy, it's very traditional masculine. Like, they want to court you, you know, they, they, they want, they're willing to go through the courtship process, like wine and dine you, take you on dates, ask you out, bring you flowers, things of that nature something about this person is very laid back to so if this is a masculine energy or feminine doesn't matter i get that they're like um like they swagged out but it's very simple you know it's like a guy in a white tee with blue jeans and but he's mad tatted like he keeps it simple but he's mad tatted if this is a girl a woman she gives like girl next door um very sweet she could like to read she has like glasses on a book you know like she's in like a big boyfriend t-shirt and like sweatpants but she's mad pretty like you can see that she's a beautiful ass woman but she just doesn't do the most um but they're very like sweet oh, i love this it's like a movie like it's a very sweet person if this they can have like really cute tats okay like if it's a woman, she has really cute tats. Not like a big tatted up girl like how I am, but like, you know when they have like cute little subtle tattoos in places. Um, if it's a man, he probably got like a sleeve or he has like his like his leg or his back done, but not like tattoos everywhere. It's like minimal swag, but it's swag. Like I like it a lot actually. Um, This is somebody who also uh, travels often, whether it's for work or they just like to vacation. They like to like see the world. This is a very intellectual person. This is a person who spends a lot of time alone, but like doing productive things. Like they, they're very big on self care. So like they, they, they're alone, but they're doing productive shit, right? Like they're reading a book, they're reading a magazine, learning about business trades or politics or whatever. Um, you know, they're doing research. This person does a lot of research. Um, they they like to exercise. They're doing yoga. They're at the gym. They're, you know, they make the, this is somebody who like will make a fancy coffee for themselves at home. Like they have the fucking ninja, I don't know, 8,000. And they're like making cute espressos in their house just for them to sit like on their porch or something. It's like that. Anyway, this person is fab. Um, let's see what their intentions are. <laughs> I like this person a lot. Could be a water sign, Aquarius, Virgo. All the strongest energies on the board. Intentions. Yeah, they're going to take action. They will definitely take action. And man holding a heart at the bottom. This is somebody who's definitely going to take the initiative to ask you out on a date to ask you when you guys can hang out when you can do something again this is somebody who does not mind taking the time they will court you very well like uh this is i'm jealous Sag. i want this i want this for me you guys are great 
Yeah, it's faded too. Like this is something that is coming into your life to show you that you deserve good things. Reflection with fulfillment and divine fate, right? I think that um, this is something that too, like it's so, it's like almost too good to be true. So you might feel like, what's wrong? Or why is this nigga taking so long? Or what's the tea? But it's because, yeah, it's because you're just used to a different type of thing. And this person is actually very sophisticated and very smart and they just get it, you know? Yeah, I love that. This person could also come at a time where you just disconnected from another relationship. And so that might give you reserve about it, but I'm hearing you can trust it. Um, what's your advice? Even though I just said it, you can trust it. <laughs> what's your advice? Advice for said, Yeah, follow the path. Temple path, this is leading you in the right direction, okay? I'm telling you, this is somebody who's really like, I wouldn't think twice about somebody like this. This is like really green flag. It's giving green flag energy. <laughs> Capricorn. That was lovely. Capricorn. What is the person thinking about you? Tell me about the person that is thinking about Capricorn spirit. One more. Tell me about the person that's thinking about Capricorn. Tell me the tell me about the person. Just thinking about Capricorn. All right. Could be a parent, a mother, a father, for sure. Somebody older. Somebody who is very experienced, who's been through a lot. I want to hear. I want to I wanna hear. I, I hear. I'm hearing shit, but I wanted to say, right? I want to say this person's been through a lot. They're very wise. They're very experienced, okay? It's experienced energy. Could be a parent, like I said. Could have older children, this person. Yeah, it's like they're ready to hit a new chapter on their life. I'm be honest with y'all, Capricorn, this is giving people over 40, I want to say. 40 is a safe space. I would have wanted to say 50, but 40 is safe because some people have their kids younger, etc. So now they're kind of in a place, right? Like if you had your kid when you were 20 or so or before that, you're 40 years old, you're still kind of young and you still want to get back out there. I kind of get this energy off this person. Like, um, you know, they had a hard life. They went through a lot, they been through a lot, but they were very resilient, you know, they were relentless to get to, you know, the goal, the outcome. Um, and they, they did so, they, they did, like they've accomplished something. This person is accomplished. Whoever is thinking about you, they're very accomplished. Um, you know, they're settled, they're stable, they got their stuff. And it's, it's like that, like I'm getting empty nester for some people, like again, they, their kids are grown and so, they finally feel like comfortable enough in their life to say, okay, like my kids are good. I'm good. It's time to like start living my life again. It's something like that. Like somebody is ready to get back out there, ready to find themselves again, find a new version of themselves. So I feel like there's something about this energy, this person, it's like they were, they were bound to something, obligated to something, most likely a lifestyle, their children, a job. You know, and they're finally, they finally complete that level. And so they're like, all right, what's next? Now I get to go back out. Now I get to have fun. Now I get to see the world. Now I get to fall in love. Now I get to stuff like that about this person. Yeah. Because I feel like they, and it could be difficult for them. This is like somebody who's been out the game for a while. Whoever's thinking about you, they haven't had a real relationship, like a real romantic connection in eons, it feels like. You know, even if they dated or whatever, right? Because we're not always like sitting in limbo. Some of us are. Some of us are. <laughs> but um, we're not always just sitting in limbo for a thousand years, you know? But uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It just was never solidified. Like nothing felt final um, in this person's life when it came to their love life. Um, and so that could have them a little <sighs> fragile uh, is the word I want to use. Okay, so um, what is their intention? Why is this person thinking about this? Why is this person thinking about Capricorn? Why is this person thinking about Capricorn? Uh, yeah, they're ready to get back out there. I'm telling you. Now, a small message for some of you. This person can be... Codependent is not the word. But because this person's very stable. 
So it's not about, but it can be, okay, that's what it is. It's not that, this person's very lonely, okay? That's what it is. This person is realizing that they're lonely. Thank you. And so they do have intentions of getting into a relationship, a connection, a friendship even, but they they still have to heal that part of them. So I think Spirit wants to make you aware of this, that a part of this person is very unhealed, especially emotionally, all right? Fourth chakra. Four chakras, the heart chakra. Um, because I think, again, this person has coasted through life with obligation, just keeping their eye on the prize. I got to take care of my kids. I got to, you know, get this investment. I got to work. I got to get this business off the ground. I have to whatever, 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 whatever. And now that they're done with all of that, now that the kids are grown and left the house, now that they're finished with school, now that whatever, it's like this person has a moment to sit and say, damn, I... I don't have anybody to talk to you know i don't I, I think this person has been so focused on their life that they don't have like a lot of friends and they definitely don't have companionship and it's what they're looking for but their heart is very new and fresh to the idea at this point because they've been out of practice all right but their intentions are to come through i would just say yeah appreciation on the bottom i would just say be Again, keep in the back of your mind that this person is lonely and that they've been out of practice. And so jumping into something new can get interesting, <laughs> you know, like because this person can probably sabotage things or, you know, they, they can, again, they've, they're so out of practice, they really don't know. So if you do get involved with this person... Let's, let's go to the advice because I'm already ready to spill it out. If you do get involved with this person, uh, yeah, you might have to wake a lot of things up in them, okay? You might have to teach this person a bit, show them that, you know, this person might need a lot of reassurance. Rebirth for fractions. <laughs> this person might need to, you might need to guide them a little bit through whatever, you know, remind them like, hey, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not going to like you know oh no that's not how we do things you know what i'm saying i feel like this becomes more permanent around the fall yeah renewal venus uh offer this has the autumn and then you have the transcendence and unity card i think that yeah you're you might be a big part of this person's healing process capricorn so just keep that in mind um and you should be fine <laughs> or maybe you say fuck that i deal with it whatever it's fine Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. Who's thinking about Aquarius? Who got Aquarius on their mind? Whose thoughts is Aquarius invading and invoking? I just heard an invoking. Oh, Aquarius, this could be somebody you've been manifesting as well, man. I mean, to hear that. This person on Aquarius' mind. Again, with the older energy, somebody older. More mature, more wise, could be a parent. Oh shit, just heard could be somebody pregnant? What the fuck? I don't know if this is somebody you got pregnant or somebody just had a baby or is about to have a baby. The fuck? The what the fuck are they thinking about you? Unless it's your baby. Okay. Well, this person is okay, this person's a good person. This is a good egg. Um, very attractive. I think what happens is you Aquarius, maybe look at this person and get the wrong idea of them because of what they look like. Something that, this is especially, I mean, it could be a man too, take it how it resonates. But if this is a woman, this is a drop dead gorgeous woman. Like, there's something drop dead gorgeous. Okay, Empress Sun, Queen of Wands is like, whoa, you're just gonna stare. You're going to stare. Could be Libra, Taurus, Leo, Aries. Um,. This is a this is like somebody who's dropped their gorgeous off the bat. So this person has you on their mind, okay? This person does um have a good head on their shoulders. Yeah, you have to wait. This person does have a good head on their shoulders. Um, very sprightly. Like this person's very happy all the time, joyous. They have a good energy, a good vibe to them, very attractive energy. Like people will just love to be around them. This person is very just, okay. They're very just. They're very stable. This person got it. I, I, this is okay. I like that you want a person like this, man. 
But let's find out why, okay? Because this person got everything. They got it all. So what, what are they thinking about you? This one, they said. What are they thinking about you then, Aquarius? What are they thinking about Aquarius? Child. To say, you better speak clear. This person is very interested in you, actually. You could have a history with this person when it comes to romance or friendship or whatever. But they do think about you. If this is somebody that you used to be with in the past, like you have a history with, um, they still think about how far things could have gone or being a happy family if you have kids with this person or whatever. But they're afraid that you will hurt them. They're afraid that you will hurt them. This is what... Oh, they think of how you hurt them. Take the energy how it resonates, please. It's like they they thought that you guys would work out, that you guys were a match, that you guys would be great together. They really loved you, this person, if this is somebody from your past. But they, they fear that you'll just hurt them again. I think that you've hurt this person before, whether you realize it or not. And now they are doing really well in life, it would seem. And it's like they want you there. You know, it's like when you accomplish something really big and you think of, damn, who's the first person I want to call for this? But they, it's like they couldn't call you. And they wanted to call you. They wanted to say, Aquarius, I got the job. Aquarius, I, oh my God, I just, I opened this. I did da-da-da-da. Or they threw some big celebration or something. And it's like everyone was there. Everybody saw and they were happy that they were like, Damn, I wish Aquarius was here. Oh, there's something about that, like this person, but they are like, they're scared. Okay, they're scared. What should you do about this? That's too many. Do it again. What should you, what should Aquarius do about this? Okay, talk to them. If you're interested in anything I'm saying right now, talk to them. Because this person does feel like, uh, it's like they want to hear from you too, but they're just afraid to make the first move. They're very afraid to make the first move because they're scared that they'll just fall in love all over again and be hurt. Okay. Um, so, I mean, seriously, if you, if, the, if you like anything that I said here and you're thinking, you know exactly who I'm talking about, then reach out, reach out to this person. That is your advice. Your advice is to reach out to this person. I think enough time has passed. Um, for you to like, hey, how are you? Let's get together or something like that, maybe. Um, it can, be, you know, it might look surface level at first or a little like, eh, but there are, there, there's true emotion behind all of this. There's definitely the desire, which is enough, right? We need that at least like, do you even want this? Yes, right? That yes is there. So, all right, Aquarius, I would go for it. But your life, <laughs> that's what not least to Pisces. Pisces me dudes. Ooh, Pisces, I'm already disgusted. Look who's that peeking out. The devil with the king of wands. Toxic dick. Heard you. Oh, toxic box. But let's see. Who's this person thinking about Pisces, right? Already doesn't look like nobody good. You would flip the script on me. Pisces. Who is thinking about Pisces? Who's thinking about Pisces? Damn, toxic dick be the vessel and donut. Fucking hate it here. Move forward. <laughs> this is somebody who, in Pisces, if they're not with you, they're already in a relationship, and that's the toxic number one. Okay? Um, but this person is somebody who you share fond memories with they share fond memories with you this person can be married i'm hearing oh god pisces that's the tea married active single thank you very clear so this whoever this person is i don't i mean i hope they're not married to you pisces but if they are they act as single and if they marry somebody else they act as single and that's really what's wrong with this person that's exactly why they got toxic dick that's why I got that toxic dick energy in the beginning. <laughs> Could be a woman as well, though. Could be any gender, please. This person um, definitely wants to 
their intentions are definitely to come back towards you okay this person could be darker skinned or like not i'm not getting dark like i'm getting like brown but it is darker but it's like brown you know not like ebony black you know like not the pretty purple black with this clear skin but like like a couple shades before that still brown you know like that like um like cinnamon cinnamon color like somebody cinnamon colored i'm getting um could have like coarse hair he's giving like yeah definitely like black african descent okay ancestry with it. it's like really thick coarse coils uh man or woman doesn't matter cinnamon tone they're describing the person sorry you and this person can be interracial as well like there could be you could, you're from somewhere they're from somewhere else this person's married this person is in some sort of commitment whether with you or with somebody else but they move freely they move like a single person they act like they're single when they're outside or when they're in front of the right people um this person's intentions is to come back to you they want to have sex they miss you they think you're fun they want to take you out on a date they definitely find you super uber attractive this feels like it's just about sex though i'll be honest it feels like it's definitely just like passion driven you know that that they want that thing they want that thing they want that thing yeah I feel like this person lacks, um, in whatever relationship they are in, so take the energy how it resonates, whatever commitment they are in, it lacks passion. And so that's why this person steps out, looks for it elsewhere, um, because they don't get it at home. They don't get it in their relationship. They're not getting the sex they want. They're not getting the fulfillment that they want. And so their intentions are to get that from you. If you're the person in the relationship that's not fucking them well, they're basically giving like, bitch, you better get it together or I'm going to fuck every bitch in this town. Ew, I hate that. But that's what it's giving. Um, let's get some more. This person acts like a fucking kid. They act like a child. Like It's like the only thing grown about them is their dick or is their sex or, you know, is they pussy, like grown woman body, whatever, but little girl head. Like little girl up here, you know, big man body, but little boy up here. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, you see, I don't like that. Control separation long end. I don't like that. Let's see what else. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? What the fuck is going on with these cards? Like these three on top of each other. Um. <sighs> What should you do about this? Because I'm getting out. I don't like this man. I don't like this woman. I don't like whoever this is. It's like somebody like really stepping out on their marriage. Stepping out on their commitment. Whoever they live with. Their family. Um, and it's, it's literally just for sex. Is because they're not satisfied sexually. This person has like a... They have a big appetite for sex. And maybe their partner does not. Okay. Somebody here is lacking. Broken heart as I pick that up. Somebody here is lacking. Like the sex drive. That, that the other person requires. And so they go out seeking it elsewhere. What should you what should you do about this? What should you do about this? What should you need to know about this? Advice for Pisces. Right. listen to your intuition yeah i feel like if this is you that's in this marriage Pisces, you need to heal you need to move on from this person and heal because it's not real love okay there's not love here at all again it's all passion driven um if this is somebody else stepping out toward you spirit is also saying choose the path of love so i feel like regardless to whatever whatever side of the fence you're on here um, this is not really the person that aligns with your morale. They're not the person that aligns with what you want. I feel like Pisces, you are a deep lover. You know, you're, you're Neptune, you're dreamy, um, you're a water sign for crying out loud. So it's like, um, you know, the, the surface, like, yeah, you like sex. Y'all are horny. Yeah, you are. Pisces are actually one of the most underrated sex signs because y'all get crazy, but... 
the 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 truth is that you get so crazy because you're actually lover girl lover boy energy at heart um the passion is motivated by emotion you understand it's not the other way around it's like you're more driven to the sex through the heart chakra you know it starts here like you gotta love you gotta feel and that's what you're trying to sort of build on and bloom um but this person doesn't have that you know they don't align with you in that way so um also there's a message here about making sure that you are not trying to heal yourself through sexual experiences you know because you love so deep because you fuck so good because whatever the fuck it's like um you should be you should cherish it you should be more exclusive with it don't just be handing it out all willy-nilly okay all right i'm not even gonna do a collective message because everything went crazy i'm gonna leave it right there for y'all love light and abundance